fast bike. <laughs> Squid. <laughs> <Godly>. <laughs> Give me a one out of ten for the Busa. What'd you feel? Oh man, ten. This bike's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Got plates, okay. Got plates on both bikes. Got plates We're on doing both good today. bikes, baby. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> that has not happened in the past. Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to another Yami Noob shit post with the Hayabusa. If you saw the title of today's video, we're going to be putting a relatively inexperienced rider on this machine. This is a 1300cc, 175 horsepower beast of a motorcycle. You guys already know what it is. It's a meme machine extraordinaire. And today, Josh is going to be piloting it. I am ready. I am <laughs> ready sure? and excited. No, I'm not sure, but you know, I'm, I mean, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tell the folks at home a little bit. You've never ridden something with this much power, right? No, no, not at all. Uh, maximum, like my SV, 70 horsepower. Yeah. So you're jumping up about a hundred extra horsepower on this today. <laughs> Going all the way to the top. <laughs> um, I really wish we could have had a more kind of like a like a 750 or a liter bike for you to test out. Because the one thing about the boost is just it's so heavy. You know, that, mm -hmm. that's the big thing about it. Even though it makes a ton of horsepower, ton of torque, it's hampered by its weight in my opinion. Um, so are you, yeah. are you nervous at all to ride it or no? Nope, not really. I've sat on it. I've moved it around the shop, you know, never running or anything like that. But um, I've felt its weight and... Uh, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, it's very heavy, uh, but I'm excited to ride it. You see them everywhere. They, they like call to you out in the wild. I mean, they do, uh, the Boozer boys do to me actually. Yeah, they do. Oh, I'm, a mating yeah, call. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no, I'm not, not, uh, not nervous or anything like that. Uh, it may, I'm prepared for it to scare me a little bit, you yeah. know, to once I really feel it come on, but, uh, yeah, no. This is a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day. Why yeah. don't you mount up and tell me how you feel on it? Alrighty. Because you're a little bit shorter mm. than I am. You at have yammy eight. chans. Yammy chans all over this thing. <laughs> it's heavy, yeah. Oh, the seat height is not too bad. Yeah, it's actually it's a little bit really... shorter than a lot of super sports and yeah. leader bikes and all that. Yeah, you know, six foot is not a requirement to ride a Hayabusa. <laughs> no, no, you look pretty good on it, honestly. <laughs> um. Okay. You it's see how the ergos more are a little bit more relaxed than something like a R1 or something. It actually is yeah. more sport touring, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, just hopping off of the CB500, though, um, it's more aggressive than that, that's for sure. The this one thing fun. that really rocked my world when I got on this bike was just how much dash there was. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. It's absolutely. like a little jet ski or something. You're in a cockpit. Like, you are absolutely... Yeah um surrounded by stuff it is it's fighter jet mode for sure <laughs> yeah why don't you start it up all right so two years of riding experience first time on a bosa let's see so oh, we need on clutch in clutch oh you use that don't you what am i doing wrong uh just hold it there you go Lovely. I'm yeah, so sorry. I think Busa. I think it's I think it sensed that you were not at sensei and it was yes. like what are you sure? What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Are you absolutely positive you would like to proceed? And of course guys, this C B five hundred R is one of our new giveaway motorcycles, part of our beginner bike giveaway series. Check that out in the link in the description below. Uh, this is not Josh's bike, even though he said that he quite liked it riding it in today. And it's a friendly little approachable motorcycle, quite different than the Hayabusa. But uh what do you say, Josh? You wanna head out? Wanna do this? Let's do it. All right, you want me to take the lead or you want me to follow? Uh, you can follow me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I just revved the, the engine real quick before taking off, which is definitely a good idea. Wow, yeah, So you So you've never ridden a, a four-cylinder motorcycle either, right? No, I mean, I think the biggest distinction is I've never ridden a bike that you can like get most of it done in first gear kind of thing, like this oh, with yeah. R1. That bike will do 90 miles per hour, I think in second gear. So it's quite long geared. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and you don't have to give it anything <laughs> to get it in, <laughs> to get going. Yeah. Oh, you messed up. I'm gonna go home and buy a Hayabusa after this. <laughs> You're like, I am now ready to ascend to the throne. <laughs> That's right. It's I'm a Suzuki time, baby. boy. I like I like my Suzuki. Yeah. 
So gut this, impressions, are you are you almost are you almost dying? Is it so scary? Are you about to kill yourself? <laughs> no, I definitely realize I have to mind my throttle hand, especially just like going in first gear. Like you yeah. twist the throttle at all and it, it starts really you it, it's telling you how much power is there. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so barely put anything on the throttle before letting out the clutch. But no, other than that, it's pretty easy. Like this Wow, it definitely pulls really hard, really hard whenever you get on the throttle. It, it has an it just, enormous amount of grunt and you have not even cracked it more than like 20% at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is very fast. Um, this is full but yeah, on that's juice. the thing I'd like to tell beginners at home or people who haven't ridden a big power bike yet is, um, you know, motorcycles, they all kind of work the same. If you know how to ride a bike, uh, you can basically jump on any other bike and as long as you don't ride it very dumb, you will be able to get it down the road no problem. Um, yeah. So as we see here, you're just tootling around on the Busa. Even something like a Busa. Yeah, actually, let's let's go ahead and hang a left. Sorry. No worries. We'll get in this lane. How does how does it feel doing like super slow speed stuff like that? Oh, I put both feet down. Not even <laughs> not even playing around with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't feel great. I mean, you'd obviously need to like probably do some practice. I don't know. Do Busa boys do practice? Like, Hi, Busa like men that? practice. Busa boys okay. just just send it you know yeah yeah yeah. uh man ima imagine if like i was here at a light and dropped it and had to pick it up that would suck yeah <laughs> um yeah i would not want to pick up 550 pounds yeah going down the road though other you know as long as your wrist is sitting still it feels like a normal motorcycle yeah it, that, that's the surprising yeah. part about it to me is that um once you get it moving and at speed uh it, it feels totally normal and fine um I tend to hype it up a lot as this big, heavy cruiser -y kind of bike, but yeah, it's pretty normal. Uh, and, and honestly, the thing that's so cool about it is just how stable it is at super high speeds. Um, that thing will easily do like 120, just chilling, you know, like no problem. That's crazy. Choke it up a little bit if you want, Josh. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna send it first try. I'm not gonna totally yeah. send it first try. What'd you get it up to? Oh, speed-wise or gear-wise? Uh, RPM-wise. Oh, nothing. I don't even know if I got to like 5,000 <laughs> RPMs. Oh man, yeah, you haven't even felt it yet. No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, and I mean, even if you're like, it, you know, it doesn't matter what gear you're in. If you're at two or three thousand RPM, you're going when you start twisting the yeah. throttle. There's no uh, no hesitation from this motorcycle. Yeah, it will simply just go. But tell me now how you feel about the brakes as you come to this red light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> isn't it? It's just abysmal, isn't it? Right. Those are it six pistons break. at the front. It will not stop. I don't know why. I think I gotta service it more. We swapped out the fluids and the pads, so I don't know what the hell's going on with it. But I don't know, man. It doesn't really stop. Oh, it's not about stopping. <laughs> but yeah, if it stopped like it went, it'd be uh, what an R1. But uh, man, yeah. the low down torque is so good. Yeah, it just it just makes passing and doing stuff, you know, so easy. You don't have to shift the gear. You can just, whatever gear you're in, you have power. Yeah, it's cool, because when you shift and, you know, you drop some RPMs because you go up a gear, um, it still feels like it immediately hits the gear and it's immediately going. Like, it doesn't, you know, need a second yeah. to adjust or anything. Yeah, we can, we can slow down a little bit here and uh, why, don't you, why, don't you give it, why don't you give it some beans? I Things just tend to kind of warp around you, yeah. Of course, first pull on the boost and I get stuck behind at 15 mile an hour. <laughs> no, what feels cool though is just the constant power. I mean, you like just changing lanes to go around that guy. It's constant power through <laughs> yeah. each gear. Um, so it's pretty, honestly, comfortable to ride. Holy cow, hold on, I gotta figure this out. Hey, what? Oh my gosh, yeah, my chute lace is around the shift lever. What the oh, heck? That's not good. You want to pull nope. over? Nope, we're good. I got it clear. Okay. Yeah, this, 
It's cool. I really like it. <laughs> I'm really, I really, really like it. I'm sure I would get tired of it, but man, it, it's hard it to is, not just be kind of like intoxicated by that power, you know? Yeah. You see like memes of people like you know, still faced on a roller coaster or something. Talked about yeah. daily driving to Abusa, and I get it. That last pull, I mean, I was going pretty hard, but I also wasn't loving it, letting it rev out all the way. What else can you tell me about that machine? How do you feel? So it really starts like howling. Like you can really hear the engine, you know, talking. Even at four or five thousand RPMs, it sounds like it's doing a lot. Um, but there's still so much more. It has so much more. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that's that, you know, screaming in line four, high revving uh, sound that you're used to. But like you don't realize how much, how, how long you've got to stay in a gear to like get up there. Yeah, and, and honestly, that one is rather low revving for an inline four. It tops out at about 11,000 RPM, whereas something like a ZX6 and R6 is like 14 and a half, 15,000 RPM, right? So, interesting. Um, compared to more high strung sport bikes, the boost is actually quite low revving if you can believe it. So, but then when you ride them, I mean, are you just riding with a lot less power most of the time? Or yeah, you just so they don't, they, don't, they don't make that kind of, you know, mid-range, I mean, they don't, like, the Booza has just, like, otherworldly low-end grunt and torque, like, right. the 600 just doesn't feel that way, you know, you have to really kind of bring it and work for it a little bit. But yeah, that's why I tell people, like, if you've been riding for, you know, a year or two, and you've got a little bit of experience under your belt, um, you know, it, it's not difficult to ride a high-powered motorcycle or a bigger motorcycle, because they all pretty much work the same, yep. um, but... It's just, you have to be mindful of the little things, right? Like, and you, and you intuitively knew it as soon as you jump on, where you're like, okay, I can't whack the throttle open on this like I would on a 300. I have to modulate a little bit more because it has so much low end grunt. Um, you're mindful of the weight. You're mindful of how it feels in slow speeds. Um, so, I mean, for, for anyone watching this is thinking about jumping on a big power bike, you know, it's just not hard. Uh, it's just have to be a little more careful and that's it. But, yeah, absolutely. But it's less fun though. Like, really. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, there's one thing this bike does really well, and on it, most of our ride, we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, the Busa just wants one thing, and it's disgusting. I don't really like downshifting on it. It's kind of scary. Really? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like to, for braking purposes. Yeah. Because it feels like I'm gonna like let the clutch out too quickly and like over rev the engine <laughs> and pop the wheel up. <laughs> God, there's so much brake lever travel. <laughs> 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 and it doesn't do anything that's the worst part yeah it's got all that travel and it doesn't stop the goddamn motorcycle i mean do shorty levers give you less i mean surely right they'd give you less, less leverage <laughs> uh, that's yeah. nothing man this bike's not aggressive no. come on no no it's not but it's not like this though <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel powerful? Oh, that's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. I was like, man, this, you're the king of the road. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like even if road, I'm on baby. one of my bikes and see a Hayabusa, it's like, yeah. okay, all right, go ahead. You got it. What, what's funny is people do tend to look at that bike just because I think they see the kanji and the Hayabusa and like, it's <laughs> such a, like, even if you don't know shit. <laughs> Man, but you're right. It's so smooth at speed. It's like it's totally in its element. It's happy. It's fine. Other yep. bikes, man, you get them up there and they're like, ah, this sucks. Yeah, it, 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 it was literally built to be cruising 150. Man, it's insane what that thing does. Jeez. Yeah, it feels awesome doing that. It's like, hey, it's, it's, it's supposed to do that. Yeah.
it, it pulls so hard like all I'm thinking about is how bad the brakes are <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like I don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a drug, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just want that one more hit, you know. Now here's the question, Josh. Do you feel like it needs 70 more horsepower by way of a turbocharger? Um. The answer uh, is yes. Yeah, I mean it, it. It. I know that it needs it. That's the thing. I know <laughs> it needs it. I don't exactly feel that way right now. <laughs> I can't imagine somebody who rides this and thinks it needs more. I mean, I get it. Like, I'm, I've only done it a couple times now. You know, only yeah, a couple I, pulls. But I think you just get used to it on a, the big highway speeds, and then you just, you know, like we said, it's a drug. You want more and more and more and more, you know? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Golly, that, that was fast, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, but, you know... Like jet skis are a lot of fun, but you can't go and ride them anywhere else except for on the water. This is a lot of fun doing its thing also, like those highway mm -hmm. pools, and you can get it around. And I mean, I yeah. guess you could put some bags on it and make it a daily rider. I get why that would suck though. But uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of understand the Hayabusa. I think I mean, it does, like for its intended purpose, which like we said, is basically just top end speed, big highway pulls. Mm -hmm. I think it does great, you know, like it does yeah. really, really well for what it's designed to do. But yeah. um, it's certainly not a bike I want to ride every day. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's not well, really and, my and thing. And it's not, it's not the finer things of, of a motorcycle. Like that's not what you get out of it. That's not what you <laughs> feel. That's not, yeah. it's not like the, the really fine, really well-tuned. Oh no, yeah. the, the boost is a big old plate of bad food, you know, like a, like a, like a supersized <laughs> yes. meal, like a supersized meal at McDonald's. That's what the high yes, boost is, man. Exactly. <laughs> Squid. <Godly. laughs> <laughs> I rev like that and then I take off so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Just full on peacock. All right, wrapping it up today, Josh. Give me a, give me a one out of 10 for the Busa. What'd you feel? Oh man, 10. This bike's a 10. <laughs> oh, I mean, we only rode it for 30 minutes or so and it's a 10. It's so cool. Um, and it's so powerful and it is comfortable and it's not it doesn't seem like it's that much of a pain in the ass to ride really like it, yeah it's not hard um and then it's got like that little surprise for you that it's not a surprise you know it's there but you know you jump on the highway and it does that um super cool but you know realistically i get it that you know it's a 10 for me because i i haven't ridden other 10 bikes i think yeah. Um, it leaves some wanting. The brakes are really bad to a point to where they're scary. And it is ridiculous. It, it's definitely ridiculous and big. And I mean, my thigh is gripping this thing. Dude. Woo. Yeah, like you, you were, god damn, you were pulling like a rocket ship on that thing because you're so lightweight. Yeah. Kind of kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you feel like it lives up to the sort of legendary status that it has? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. And this is, you know, it's been a, a journey learning about motorcycle power for me over the past few weeks even. Yeah. Um, and really starting to love my 70 horsepower range. Um, <laughs> here, here we go, here we go. You're just like, you know what? It's not as good as my SP650. You son of a bitch. I don't know if it pulls quite as hard. <laughs> Uh, um, fucking as, as far fucking as SV650 legend. boys, man. You, you can't. Oh, God. Keep watching Yammy Noob. 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 Keep watching Yammy Noob.